Okay, so I've got two squares, 18 by 18 inches. And what I'm gonna do is cut them into four squares. And then we, these are right sides facing together. Just get rid of that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave a gap here and you're gonna go sew all the way around on both sides. So I'll just mark with some needles of where the gap needs to be. I'm just gonna leave a few inch gap. So now we've done that, we've got our little gaps. We're gonna trim each of the corners to remove excess built bulk. So what we're gonna do now is turn them inside out right sides out because I'm already inside out. Now once we've done that we will press them with the iron to make them look pretty and then top stitch along to close that hole. Go press, 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 and stitch, stitch. And I can do top stitching done. And got all pressed, kind of looking neat. Okay, so we're gonna. So this is the long edge. And we're gonna simply fold over two pieces. Try and sort of square them up so they actually look similar. But if you've got dodgy cutting or like me, dodgy sewing and then horrifically squint seams, just do the best you can. So that's one triangle and then that's the other triangle. So you're going to sew a square. So you've done your square. Now you're going to fold it over right sides together and line up these four corners. This is why it's important to do accurate stitching. I didn't push out my seams far enough. So um, it's very squint, not straight. Okay, and all you're going to do is sew a straight line straight up either side. I'm just going to trim off some of the excess threads. Now you have one beautiful project bag. And if you want, you can fold corners in so you get a boxed bottom or simply turn it the right sides out. Hook your corners out. So the bottom's really thick because it's obviously got one, two, four layers of fabric. So if you did your positioning of your interfacing right or wrongly, Put some stiff interfacing in you could make this a lot more sturdy so let's go get some sock yarn shall we yarn okay so got this set which is from giddy yarns comfortably fits a sock in there let's see if we get another sock in let's see if we can fit in a couple of cakes actually any, any other cake top no so So when it's caked, oh yeah, you fit them in easily. Plus your needles, your like notions tin. Let's just shove a couple more things in just to make it look pretty. And then simply tie it off. 
Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. We are good to go. Okay, so this is the modification I've made. As you see, I've put this hole a wee bit too further down compared to the other one, but I've turned it just into a very cute but little um, market bag, or it's even still a project bag. I'm going to get in a bit closer. So I've just put two eyelets in, and ideally, I would, when I was sewing this together, I would have put a um, little magnetic closure in here so it closes up. And if I was to make this again, I would box off the corners to have it a bit more, just a bit more square. But then if you're traveling with your sock or going out and about, it's got more than one use. So I just simply just riveted some clips to a piece of leather. But you can also just make a strap out of normal fabric. So yeah, and then you can still tie it off. So I'll show you with the yarn inside to try and get like a feel for it. So there's cake and a couple of skeins, mini skeins. So that's what it's like. I mean, even as it's tied up, Try this out, shall we? It might look a little bit odd. It does look a little bit odd. <laughs> it's like a Norm Wallet and Gromit, is it? When Gromit tries to leave home with his pack. <laughs> yep, so that's got the yarn in it. It just makes a really simple little bag. I think that's quite cute actually. Well, let me know what you think. But yeah, with the magnetic closure it would make it um, a little bit better. But I think these make a really, really cute project bag actually. I might go stick a sock in it right now. I've made a few more additions since the two seconds. So I'm gonna untie it. And then just pin to the outside is this the kitchener stitch, in case you forget, because I can't remember how to do it. And then when we open it up, obviously got our yarn. And then I just sewed in a couple of D rings and we've got all my stitch markers. This one's got a cactus on it, it's different colour of pins. So then I have these on this side and then the other side. Isn't this the coolest? I got my darning needle on another stitch marker. I obviously would try put these a bit further down just to make the tying off a bit easier. But if you've got a zipper pouch, this will go in the key ring. Absolutely stunning. I think I'm hooked and I'm going to make another one of these with all of the additions but better and with box corners and with interfacing to make this bit stiffer so I'll try and do that soon <laughs>